Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And for tonight's manicure, we're going to be using one of Fall's newest color for 2016. And this one is Wine Red. So let's get started with this manicure. And these are the items that we will be using in tonight's manicure. I'll go over them very quickly with you, but they will also be listed in the description box for you if needed. So here I have my tools, which is my wax pencil, a detailing brush. I have my cleanup brush for the end of the manicure if needed. I also have some cotton on my cotton claw here, a pair of tweezers, some scotch tape just to do some cleaning up. If you don't have this, you can grab some masking tape. I have some little jewels that I'll be using together with some vinyl. Again, if you don't have the vinyl, grab some masking tape and you can cut them to fit your nails. I'll explain in a little bit. And here I have my stamping plate with my scraper and my stamper. And I also have my fast drying nail polish top coat together with some non-acetone remover and my sticky brush to clean that stamper. So now that I have everything ready, let's get started. So here I have already painted my nails in the base color. And the color I've used tonight was number 216B from Wet n Wild. It's called Under Your Spell. And it is a fall color. It's more of a Merlot looking color, dark burgundy. And um, again, this is one of the fall of 216 colors. So I just wanted to experiment and play around with that tonight. So I did two nice heavy coats of these and they are thoroughly, thoroughly dry. In it. And we're going to highlight this now with the stamping. So for the stamping plate I'm going to use is my Moroccan mosaic plate from Whitstonia. And I have my little scraper and tonight I will be using my black stamper so you can see the images when I'm ready to stamp. And I also am going to be using gold. And this is the Born Pretty stamping polish. So I'll be using that. And you also want to have yourself a regular nail polish that resembles this to line things up at the end. So let's get stamping and then we will move on. First thing you have to do now is grab your vinyls. And if you don't have these, go ahead and get some masking tape and just cut them out into nice triangles according to what you like. Um, and you will need four for each hand. And basically we're just gonna stick them. The point go into the very top of the tip of your nails lining them up from the point here all the way down and then we'll start stamping. So let me show you how to do one of these and then we'll go ahead and fast forward and we'll do the rest and then we'll start stamping. So here I'm lining it up very well and press down on that with your fingers. Make sure it's nice and straight and just go ahead press down especially at the edges here because you don't want it to be lifted so nail polish doesn't go down. And we'll do that for the next three fingernails, leaving that ring fingernail out for the accent nail. Now that we have these on, let's go stamping. So I'm going to use this image here. It's nice and detailed and I really like that one. And again, this is the mosaic Moroccan plate from Winstonia. Now the stamping polish I'm using, the Born Pretty polishes are very, very good. Um, you don't need a lot of them, you just need a little. And they stamp very, very well. I'll show you the images on my black stampers. I'm using that so you can see that tonight. I'll scrape twice. All right, I have to do this one over because it did not pick up the whole image. So let's do that again. And once you get that image on, you just go ahead and transfer it to the nail. as fast as you can because I have realized that the Born Pretty polishes tend to dry a little faster. So there it is. And I'm going to put this one on the pinky since some of the image has rolled out. So here we go. I'm just going to press it down, roll it, press it down, and pick it up.
and there it is. So I'm just going in now and pressing down the image to make sure it's there. And right away, I'm going to lift that little sticky tape out, that little vinyl, because I don't want that nail polish to get too hard and get stuck to that vinyl because it could take up all the images with it if it dries off too quickly. So do that right away and then go in and press down. And there's the first one. So let's continue doing that. And I like to clean my stamping plate in between every swipe just to get a nice clean pickup. And sometimes you have to do it more than once depending. I do realize, like I mentioned before, that these polishes tend to dry a little faster than some of the other polishes there. So sometimes it takes two or three tries with these to pick it up. And there it is. And I'll do that again very quickly. I have to work with this polish. Go in. Press down. And pick up. And that's it. Let's continue. Alright guys, so now that we are done with the stamping, the next thing I'd like to do is go ahead and clean up around the edges of my nails and the fingers there that got the stamping polish on it. And the first thing I'll do is I'm going to try to do most of my cleaning up with tape because I've realized from using the acetone and even the non-acetone over time there was a lot of damages on the cuticles of my nails. They are getting very very chapped up and dried and I'd like to protect that. So tape usually helps on some of the nail polishes, most of them actually. So pretty much I'm just getting a regular Scotch tape brand here and I'm going in and if you could see around the edges of my fingers there where I have all that mess from the nail polish, I'm just going to go with the tape and pick them up. And the Born Pretty Nail Polish picks up really, really well. So you can just go in and clean up around those finger nails there and pick it up and you don't have to use that harsh, harsh chemical. But in the event you need to, have that cleanup brush ready like I had when I was showing you the tools and stuff that I need just have that ready in case we need to go in and do any details so let me continue going in and just cleaning up around these nails And as you can see, we don't even need to use my little cleanup brush here. So we can just put that aside together with the acetone and we could just not do any more damages to these cuticles. So next you want to grab your gold nail polish and a little fine detailing brush. And we're going to make this look a little bit more complete. You could leave it like this if you want, but as you could see, I think it looks a little more cleaner and a little more neater when you line it up. So basically what I did is I took my stamping polish and I found a nail polish that was closest to this. And the one that I am using today is the Clean Color number 162 Metallic Yellow. And basically you go in and you just grab some of that nail polish and you line it up and just brush it right on to the edges of where the stamping has been completed in the triangular form there. So let me do one and then we'll fast forward through the rest of them. So here I go. I'm just actually sticking my little brush right in the polish. I'm not even going to take a dot out on a plate because that tends to dry up. And going right to the side. And this kind of makes it look a little complete and a little bit straight. And there you go. So you could see the difference between that and this. So I'll do that for the rest of the nails now. So now that we are done lining things up, the next step is to 
go ahead and grab your little jewels and your top coat and let's get those jewels into the nails. So here I have my jewel studs and um, this is just a wheel that I bought. These are just plain little gold studs here and they're all in different sizes. I have small, medium and large so I'll be using the very small ones for the nails that are already polished and then I'll use one large one at the base of the accent nail and two smaller ones on top to look like that. And to pick these little guys up, I'm going to use my favorite little tool, which is the wax pencil. If you don't have this, go ahead, see if you have a tweezer or something that could grab those up and make life easy for you. And of course, get your top coat. I am using my fast drying top coat today. And of course, the way I like to apply my jewels is to go ahead and put a little dot of top coat. Usually I paint the whole nails. But tonight, I'm going to put a little dot of top coat on the nail before we go over that jewel. And then we'll stick that down and then paint all the other nails immediately after. So here's just a little tiny drop of that top coat. Getting my little jewel here. Put it right on top. Let me put a few on top. There we have it. And I'll stick that right into the top coat, right in the middle of the base there. And you just want to give it a gentle little tap or press down to make sure it's nice and secure. And again, for this one, I'm going to need two small one and a large one. So let me just grab the large one right here. Actually, that's a medium size one I'm going to grab. And we'll put that on top and then we'll go ahead and stick those down and continue to do for the rest of the nails. So here's that one large stud right here and we're going to line it up like this the biggest one at the bottom and two small one the top press it down again make sure it's nice and secure we have one, and two. Go back and make sure it's nice and secure. You want to make that get locked into that nail polish there. Because if it's nice and locked in, it stays longer. And let's continue to do that for the next three nails. So now that all the little studs are in, it's time to go ahead and let's top coat those nails completely. Now, if you're using a fast drying top coat or any type of top coat for that matter, make sure you get a nice pickup on your brush. Load your brush up because you do not want to smear that stamping image that you just put on. And my advice is do not swipe one area twice. If you can avoid that, go ahead, do that. That'll help to save your stamping image. Again, now that we're using studs on all the nails today, I'm going to go around and over that nail stud. Make sure that's locked in and don't forget to cap your nails as I'm doing right now. That will prevent chipping of the nail polish and also a little bit of wear and tear from the nails going up. So there you have the first one and as you could see, that top coat really, really brings that out. And let's continue doing the rest for all of the nails. Again, I'm loading my brush up with the top coat oh, as much as we can do. There it is, you can see it's nice and loaded. Go over and around these jewels. If you secure them really, really well, they can last for up to a week. I have, my jewels are usually on until I'm changing my manicure because I secure them so well with the top coat. And they will last as long as you are very generous with that polish and, and definitely, definitely lock them in. So let's continue doing the rest of the nails.
that's it guys this is the end look of the manicure i do hope you enjoy my video tonight and if you have any questions always feel free to write to me i'll answer them as best as i can and don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming newest videos as well thanks for watching everyone and have a good night bye bye now